people love Arizona. Arizona. She from Calabasas, California. Okay. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to Mindful Moments. It is day 24 of our practice. Shout out to the Mamba. Rest in peace. On today's practice, what we're going to do is four minutes of mindful seeing, and then we're going to incorporate labeling into the practice. So we've talked about labeling before and here to just kind of practice it again, but maybe re-explain it. And then uh, also maybe you're going to add some new tools to your labeling box. So what labeling could look like is um, let's say I'm sitting, I'm practicing uh, and a thought arises. It just, it just happens. My brain thinks, Ooh, I have to go to the grocery store today. Cool. Important thought. Maybe, maybe you should do that. And just as that thought came, it's going to go. So what we'll do is as that thought arises, Ooh, I have to go to the grocery store. You can think to yourself or out loud, say thought, for example, or maybe you'll say remembering, right? Cause you remembered to go to the grocery store. Um, or maybe you hadn't thought about going to the grocery store at all. And it's an idea who knows, I will allow, you know, you all to pick whatever labels you would like. Um, and what ultimately the labels are going to help us do in our practice is it's going to help us not get attached to the story that comes with, Ooh, I have to go to the grocery store, which the story could be, Ooh, I have to go to the grocery store. Oh, I need milk. Oh man, I really want to have some cereal later. You know, I remember that one time I didn't have milk cause I didn't have cereal or cause I didn't have the milk for the cereal. And Oh, I remember that other time when, Mark made me really mad because he didn't put milk in my cereal, whatever, right? There's a whole story that happens and that's all right. And that's part of life and that's part of our brains. And that's why we're doing mindfulness, right? So we can stay in the moment and not get caught in the story. Um, so, and let's say that story happens, right? We can label a story, right? So that's just one example of what labeling could look like. Another example is let's say a car goes by, right? And you get really attached to the sound of the car. Ooh, there's a car. I wonder what kind of car, this or that, right? Maybe your label in your head is car passes by, or you can say noise, right? Again, whatever labels feel comfortable to you, those are the labels that I suggest you use. But with that being said, we're going to do four minutes, all right, of a mindful practice, and we'll start on the first gong, and we'll end on the third gong. All right, so we'll start by taking a deep breath in. Exhale. Another deep breath in. Release. This time we'll hold on the inhale. Hold. And release. Now just finding our own rhythm of breathing. And as we look around with our eyes open, we will notice A whole world. Full of things, trees, people, places, and so much more. And as we continue breathing and seeing, maybe some thoughts arise. Some emotions. Some sensations in the body. And all those things 
are okay. And just like all the things we see, they are simply just there. And as we continue looking out, let us notice something new. Something we've never seen before. Still breathing. Still seeing. Noticing the details of that something new. Does it have colors? Maybe shapes? Rarely noticing this new thing. And as we come to the end of our practice, we'll take a deep breath in and release. So that was our four minute mindful seeing practice. And I hope the guided experience was helpful. Um, if it wasn't, please let me know in the comments. That is actually very important to know. Uh, I think everybody has a different experience with mindfulness. And uh, I know, I think I've said this in the past, but for me personally, uh, I have tried and have done all different kinds. And I also started with the guided experience because for me, I'm an auditory person. Uh, amongst other things. We all have multiple talents, right? Don't just limit yourself, folks. But um, I'm a very auditory person. You know, I do music. I love music. I love sound. And um, so for me, guided meditation and guided mindfulness practice, um, even if you will, guided uh, reading and or like audiobooks are really cool to me and I enjoy that type of uh, listening. But not everybody's the same. So let me know if that was helpful. Let me know if you enjoyed that. Again, Big shout out to Mr. Tufo, Kobe Bryant, rest in peace, one of my favorites ever. Super wild that he passed this year. And, you know, just like our practice, things happen, they come, they go, feel them, be with them, and um, as they move, we move. So, like, comment, subscribe, and invite your friends. Love you. Everybody knows it. College girl, all over. They keep the Dutchess. Full of